since we've taken care of most of the tasks, all we need to do now is reopen the tavern. But we still don't know how to use the magic of this world. We don't even know why the tavern closed in the first place. <sighs> oh, what about the method that one hamster mentioned? You should try it, Nilu. You mean the creation magic his grandfather saw outside the hut of blessings? Hmm, I wonder. How exactly did the goddess of creation give them life? Maybe you don't need to understand it. Just give it a try. Everyone here calls you the forest fairy. Maybe you have the magic powers already and you just don't know it. In other words, this forest is a stage. And all I need to do is... Step out into the spotlight? <laughs> Sounds just like a fairy tale. Well, we are surrounded by talking origami animals and magic potions after all. Almost seems like anything's possible in this place. You're right, Paimon. We won't know anything unless we try. In that case, let's see. This is how you do it, right? I think I got the folds right. Oh, your origami skills are great! I once saw one of our prop people making something similar. It looked really cool, so I took some time during my break to learn the basics. It's not a bad way to stave off sleepiness either. Well, how do you feel? Sense any, uh, magical powers flowing through you? Mm. No. No? Hmm. What are we missing? Magic words? But how am I supposed to know what the goddess said to bring them to life? Oh, good point! You're the forest fairy, Nilu! What do you want to say to the new resident of your domain? <laughs> I bestow upon you the blessings of the forest and offer you a home in this land. Your name shall be Harisara. May you bloom in this world as beautifully as the flower I love. <sighs> My name is... Parisara. Oh, it worked! It actually worked! Well, peel my shell and call me a nut. <laughs> I never imagined I'd witness such a miracle at my age. <laughs> it's just like what the story said about the goddess of creation. Shell? Miracle? Nice to meet you, Padisara. I'm Nilu, the fairy of this forest. From this day forward, this place is now your home. Hello, fairy Nilu. I hope you'll grow up happily in this forest. Grow up. <laughs> oh, you can leave the little one with old Armand for now. Oh, uh, this sure brings back memories. <laughs> it's been such a long time since we last held a welcome ceremony. Here, Padishara. Hmm. Uh, come to Grandpa Armand. Well, now that Nilu has mastered the goddess's magic, we should be able to reopen the tavern, right? Hmm. Grandpa Almond, could you send a few people to check the underground space beneath the tavern? Oh, of course. Uh, may I ask why? The moment I used magic, I sensed something strange down there. I have a feeling it's connected to why the tavern had to close down. Uh, of course, we'll look into it right away. Make sure you listen to Grandpa Omen, Potty Sara. Don't go running off on your own. Potty Sara, listen, running. Hey, come back here, you. Wait! Yep, that's Nilo's creation, all right. She's got so much energy. Anyway, how did you manage it, Nilo? Well, all I did was say my wishes for her out loud. Maybe the magic is in the words themselves, just like the book said. This place is seeming more like a fairy tale by the second. I mean, we're somewhere called the Forest of Blessings, so it kind of makes sense. 
Well, anyway, Paimon thinks this magic suits you perfectly, Milu. When I brought Hadisara to life just now, I was able to sense the magic flowing through the forest, in the flowers and trees, and inside the creatures that live here. But for some reason, there's a hollowed out space beneath the tavern where I couldn't sense anything at all. We're back, my lady. That was fast. You were right. There was something under the tavern that I've never seen before. It looks transparent and gave off a clinking sound when I knocked on it. Transparent and clinking? Oh, I've got it! Uh, already? <laughs> You've got to use fairy tale logic, Paimon. That's right! An empty ink bottle, to be exact. Still remember the taste of the magic tonic you took a sip of, Paimon? Yeah, it was... ink. <gasps> oh, Paimon gets it now! Traveler, Paimon, will you come gather some ingredients with me? I learned what we need to make the magic tonic back in the Hut of Blessings. Sure thing! What do we need to get? Hmm. A setting sun that never sets. A dragon that cannot fly. And... A moon that only shines at night. I... Uh, where are we supposed to find crazy things like that? Give me just a second. I'm gonna go fetch an ink bottle from the other room. Paimon doesn't get it. All the ingredients are super tasty, but somehow the final product turns into ink. Well, anyway, Paimon's not going anywhere near this stuff this time. Not even if you bribed her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's see. According to the book, first you do this, then this, and then... It's done! Wow, magic sure makes everything super convenient! <laughs> <laughs> 